had an interesting conversation with my wife the other day. I thought everybody did this, but she may, clearly I was the only one. So this is what happened. We're driving along and we're talking about gas prices. And I was, I pointed out this gas station that we always pass and I'm like, oh wow, you know, yesterday it was 10 cents cheaper, must've gone up, you know, overnight or something like that. And I was talking about how I noticed these things. Every time I pass a gas station, I notice the amount that the gas price is. And she was like, really? And I was like, well, yeah, I'm driving past gas station. I want to see how much gas is, how much it's fluctuating every single day. You know, one day it's this, one day it's that, some days it spikes, some days it goes down. And I, I'm, I want to be aware of this because I want to, you know, strike, get gas as soon as it like drops to a average amount that's lower than what it has been. It makes sense in my head. And she's like, really? When I need gas, I just get gas. I don't really pay attention to the gas prices. And I was like, huh? That, what? It's a crazy person. I, I don't know. Am, am I the only one that does this? Weird. Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Excuse my little rant in the beginning of this video because it was just, you know, one of those things that I thought was interesting that I never knew. But anyways, this video, it is the holiday season. Yesterday was New Year's, but today we are getting into the holiday season somehow. Somehow. So <laughs> I thought it would be fun to go over some fun gifts for the photographer in your family, or maybe you are a photographer and are looking for some cool gifts to give ideas to give to people, or maybe you have photographer friends, whatever. These are some fun gifts that are great for photographers. And I'm going to save obviously the best one for last. So you could either skip to the end of the video or just watch, but let's get into the first one. The first one is one that I have personally used all the time. It is a V1 Godox V1 flash. Now there are so many flashes out there. I mean, just so many flashes. There's brand flashes, there's off brand flashes. And a lot of times it can be overwhelming. So, what flash do you get? Well, here's the thing. Most any flash will work. If you have a Canon camera, you get a Canon flash. If you have a Sony, so on and so forth. The Godox flash is a great flash that works for pretty much any camera. Now, one thing to note, if you aren't a photographer and you're buying it for a photographer, you need to know which brand of camera the person uses. Because for example, this one here says V1C, that is for Canon. There's a V1S and so on for Sony. So just make sure you get the right flash for the right camera brand. But these are great flashes. Uh, they're good for on camera, off camera. They're powerful. They have a rechargeable battery. They work fantastic. I use them for all of my shoots, uh, anything indoors, outdoor for extra light, weddings, so on and so forth. You can sync them up with other Godox flashes. They work fantastic. So that is number one. And number two links perfectly with it. It is the accessory kit. Now this comes with all little items that connect onto the flash. One moment. Okay, the barn doors just jumped right at you. Clearly they wanna go home with you. But anyways, so these are the, bar <laughs> comes with barn doors, which is great for directing of light. But the cool thing about all these accessories is they're magnetic. So they magnetic, magnetic. They clip right onto your flash and they're really easy to use. So I highly recommend if you get the V1 flash to also get the accessory kit. And uh, yeah, that's all for that. Moving on to the next one. Just as a quick note, I am going to link Amazon links all in the description of this video for all of the items that we're talking about. They are affiliate links. So they don't cost you anything extra, but they say, hey, Amazon, pay this guy for recommending these items to Amazon. So it really helps me, doesn't cost you anything, but it is awesome and I greatly appreciate the help. I'm required to say this. <laughs> Moving on to the next one, it's a lens. Now every photographer loves a new lens. Now if you're a photographer watching this video, you might have these lenses, but one lens or two lenses that I highly recommend, and I only have the 85 on me now, but the 85 or 50 millimeter prime. 
This again is relative to your camera brand. So I recommend if you have a Canon, get a Canon 85 or um, 50. If you have a Sony, get the Sony version. If you have the Nikon, get the Nikon version, so on and so forth. But these prime lenses, the 85 prime and the 50 prime have a 1.8 f-stop and they are awesome. Personally, I, I prefer the 50 millimeter. It is a great lens. Both are awesome lenses. I highly recommend having one of each. Um, and then they're not that expensive either. I think the, the uh, 50 millimeters, like 135 bucks, maybe 150 bucks. And the 85 is around 200. So as far as lenses go, super great uh, price range for a great lens, but one of each or one or the other highly recommend. And let's go on to the next one, which this one is kind of a boring one, but it's a must for all photographers. That is hard drive. Now, I use the SanDisk hard drives. Uh, these specifically, these are great because they have protection. Um, they're kind of like drop resistant, water resistant, dust resistant. Now, obviously don't drop them, get them wet or put dust on them. But if you happen to sprinkle a little bit or give a little bit of a bounce, it should be okay. That's what they say. Um, I have had zero issues with these. I travel all the time with them and they are phenomenal. They range from, I think, 150 to $300 depending on the size you get, but they are solid state. So they're very fast and they are excellent. So these obviously definitely recommend. All right, the next one is something that I personally have stake in. It is not a, it is not a physical item. It is actually my Lightroom Master of Editing course that I am launching next Sunday. If it is, I don't even know what date it is right now. All right, today is the 10th. So if it is the 17th and you're just seeing this video, the course is live. If it is the 10th or any time between the 10th and the 17th, the course is not live yet, but it will be soon. This course is going to be so good for any photographer who edits in Lightroom. Specifically, I'm going over Lightroom Classic, but it will cover every little bit from beginner to advanced, from all the panels, all the editing panels to full edits, tools, tips, tricks, pretty much anything any photographer will need for editing in Lightroom Classic. And most of the stuff can be used in Lightroom CC, so it will be good for both editors. There is a few more things in Lightroom Classic than Lightroom CC, so we'll cover those too. But let me tell you, I've worked for a long time on this course. I have taken my entire knowledge base of editing skills and put it in this course for you. So this is a great gift for any photographer. And if you're a photographer watching this, go check it out because it's gonna be awesome. But that leads us to the last item. And this one, this one, I really like because it's a fun one. It's one that I like, <laughs> obviously. I, this is, it was, that was really dramatic, really profound. No, <laughs> it's one that's coming back into popularity and that is Polaroid cameras. Now these are freaking awesome because you, even at home or with friends or a wedding or it, it's just, there's so many cool things you can get and it automatically gives you a printed out photo, which is super cool. Cause a lot of times people, they get these digital photos and they don't print them. This, you can do so many cool things. You can have a party and have all of your friends take fun photos and then create a cool little collage. At a wedding, you can have these out and have the attendants do this. As a wedding photographer, you can have one of these in your bag and take cool Polaroids throughout the day and give those to the bride and groom at the end. I mean, how cool is that? Granted, the, the film is a little bit expensive, but honestly, the memory and, and someone's gonna remember that. And just at home, like if you're at home, cool little cool little photos of your friends, your family, your 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 significant other, your whatever, you know, you can have so much fun with Polaroid cameras. So I highly recommend t uh, getting one of these. Again, I'll link all of these in the description, but that was the last one. So you know what? Let's take a photo, shall we? Let's remember this moment. Cool thing about this, it has a little mirror on it right here. You see that? That's a little mirror so you can see yourself when you're taking a Polaroid. How about this? Let's take a pull. How do I do this? Ah, that, the button right there. I knew that. So let's do this. Let's take a button, a button. Let's take a picture of the screen. Let's see if it works. I don't know if it'll work because of the flash, but let's try this. Here we go. Get really close here. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> I hope that works. Anyways, happy holidays. Uh, I hope you have a, had a great year. And if you have any questions, comment below. YouTube recommends this video. I personally recommend this video. You can subscribe by clicking that button here. Everything is linked in the description. Have a great rest of your year. I'll see you next week. I think I missed. <laughs> I might have to take another one. <laughs>